Hi there everyone welcome back again to Engineering with Pritam in this particular video we will talk about how you can create counter bore and counter sunk hole so without further ado let's get started okay so now here you can see in our last video we saw how we can create standard hole uh this one we will seeing how we going to create counter bore the first step here is to select the surface where we want this hole to be placed now again uh, we will choose a reference collector I again choose this option which is offset reference collector because this one is very easy instead of picking these reference collectors and then attaching to references I found this method easier now let's go back here and then let's select drilled hole and then here we can see we have got these both option counter bore and counter sink and there we go here we can see preview of counter bore now let's click on shape and here you can define the shape of this counter bore so generally counter bores are through all now let me actually make it 13 and half and the reason why it shows right because it is not practically feasible here we need to make it lower than the counter bore head width so now let's make it 13 and half and this i am doing such that i can insert an allen bolt of size m8 with hex type style now generally the head size of m8 is also 8 mm and just to flush it inside here i have kept the value as 8.5 not only you can create and preview this shape but you can also add this small counter sink which is really awesome guys let me make this value as 9 which going to give 0.5 mm of chamfer toward exit which is really nice to have now let's click okay so in this way guys we can create counter bore inside ptc creo parametric now let's see how we can create counter sunk hole again let's click on drilled now instead of counter bore i'm going to select counter sink and then let's add it to this plane this time i'm going to use these drag handles and now let's go back here in shape and let's define the size so again let's say i would like to insert m8 style bolt here now instead of 13.5 i need to make it 15 so how i am keeping these values i would say you need to either check the standard or you can google it for example here we can see this table shows how much the value of each feature will be or else you can check the bolt that you going to use and not only you can make it through all but you also have all sorts of option that we generally see typically available inside lot of other features inside ptc creo parametric now we have got this hole ready again i'm going to add a small exit counter sink that going to give us this beautiful chamfer in the end now let's click okay So in this way guys we can create counter sink hole inside PTC Creo parametric. I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If yes then do like and subscribe to Engineering with Pritam to follow more such video and to follow entire PTC Creo parametric series. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.